All right, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, hell, I decided to switch whiteboards today. I'm standing over here. I used to be standing over there. I'll tell you, that's where I used to stand. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. First of all, you're thinking, these are some fine tunes in the background. I agree. Give yourself a moment. Start bobbing your head. We're about ready to do some math. This is how I do my math. Well, you're looking at a, uh, a little fraction here, and I don't know if you noticed, but I put a, uh, a radical sign in the, in the denominator, which means in order to do the following, and I'm just gonna write simplify. In order to simplify this, we gotta do something that I didn't want to write because Lord knows I don't even know how to spell it. I, we have to rationalize the denominator. And I always tell my class, yo, I'll rationalize the denominator all day long. Just don't make me spell it. <laughs> rationalize. So here's what it is. You know, about the, what we consider simplified sometimes seems a little cray cray, I know, I know. But we don't consider this simplified because that damn radical sign is in the denominator and we do not want that damn radical sign in the denominator, period. We gotta get rid of that. So here is the, uh, the process, if you will. Uh, what you do is you multiply the denominator by whatever that radical is. So in this case, it's radical three. So I multiply it by radical three. And look what happens. You get three. And you're like, yes, all right, sweet. But, you're, but hopefully, you might be looking at that and saying something's wrong, something don't feel right. It feels like maybe we have violated a mathematical rule that we shall not violate. And you're right. You're right, of course you're right. That intuition. Look, this is a fraction, sports fans, and we can't just multiply the denominator without also multiplying the numerator. Whatever we do to the bottom, we multiply the bottom by a value, we gotta multiply the top by that same value. Because really what we're doing right here is we're multiplying by one. That's the power. You know, we think about this, listen up to this, and then I'll erase it real quick. One of the most important uh, theorems in math is that something times one is itself. And see, now you gotta convince yourself that all root three over root three is, is one. So this is really just this times one. I, I. So, that aside, let's go here. We got, oh yeah. Uh, hey, the four is outside the radical sign, the three is inside the radical sign, so we don't multiply those ones, nah, uh uh, uh uh, money. And you ask yourself, Mr. Miller, why is this one more simplified than that one? And I will tell you, because in this one, that damn radical sign is in the numerator, and that's all good. This one is in the denominator, and we ain't having it. We ain't having it. We ain't having it. I think, I think I need a new color. Trust me, this won't take me that long. I got a whole bunch right here. Look at these. Look at these. I'm rich. All right, let me get my pink. All right, here we go. Let's do another one. Let's get it. I'm gonna go right under here. I got my, my notes in front of me. Two divided by root two. Now, it's the same question. The question is simplify this. And the problem is it's not simplified. And the reason is is because there is a fraction. Oh, what the hell am I? It's not because there's a fraction. Well, it's because there's a radical sign in the denominator of the fraction. Mr. Miller, you're talking too fast, slow down. You see, the reason this ain't simplified, the reason this instruction exists, 
because there's a radical in the denominator. So you know what I say? First of all, I say I'm going to drop this. And second of all, I'm going to say, well, let's get rid of that radical. Let's just get it done. Let's do it. Boom. And now we have two. Because the square root of two times the square root of two is two. And in general, here's another reason why that's true, is because when we multiply radicals, we get to multiply the numbers inside the radicals. So really it equals the square root of four, because two times two is four, and we know that that is two. And so, you know, you do this enough times, you'll convince yourself that the final answer is always what those two numbers are. It doesn't really matter which one you even try. I mean, try square root of three times square root of three is equal to the square root of nine, which is three times three. And what's the square root of nine? But three. And so we just kind of see it as a pattern. Hey, okay. So then the square root of two is times the square root of two is two. And hell, the square root of x times the square root of x is just x. Okay, that's the, this is the uh, couple examples, and then there's the generalization. So let's go here. I gotta multiply it up as well. Remember, this is that very special property. A lot of people don't see this as multiplying by one, but that's all we doing. That's all we doing because root two divided by root two, last time I checked, equals one. All right, so let's finish this. This gives me two over root two. Am I done? Am I done? No. You say, hell no, Mr. Miller. You are not finished. Mr. Miller, th th that's why I got a new color pen, because I wanted to come right here and say, look, we can Those cancel, a lot of people don't like, Matt teaches use the word cancel there. These two divided by two reduces to one, or the multiplying by two cancels the effect of the dividing by two. Ooh, doggy. Oh, Nelly. Hey, you know, you can even put that one if you like. You know, hey, if, if, if it's whatever floats your boat, that's what I always say. I, I, I don't hate, whatever floats your boat. All right. Next one. Uh, and I didn't write them on the floor or anything. I, I just threw my paper down. So now I'm looking down. If you're gonna, if you're gonna watch the first part of the video, you'll be like, is he looking at the damn floor? How's he looking at the damn floor for? Because that's where my problems are. All right, let's do another one. Oh, let's get, I'm gonna race. I'm gonna race. I'll leave that one though. All right, here we roll. Oh, ooh. Oh, all right, all right. So let's get a, we're gonna throw a variable in there then. So one over square root of two X. The question is to simplify. The reason the question exists is because this is not simplified. And the reason it's not simplified is because there is a radical in the denominator. So let's get rid of it. Hit pause, try it yourself. Hey, don't hit pause, you can just, yeah, hit pause, think about it, think about it. All right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna bust this up real quick. See you later, 2x, I mean square root of 2x, and hello, just 2x. Well played, well played, well played. But whatever I do to the denominator, I must come up here and also do to the numerator. I cannot leave that numerator out. I see you, numerator. I see you. Whew. And they playing right now. One times square root of root two x, square root of two x. Well, the denominator doesn't have a radical sign in it. There are no, there's no way to reduce this radical. And so this answer must be finished. Well, I think I might have time for one more. One more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. 
Let's, uh, there you go. I was looking at the floor again. Uh, ah, oh, here we go. Root four over root 48. It's the same question. It says simplify, and the reason we need to simplify is because there's a radical in the denominator. And so what we got to do to make it simplified is take that radical the hell out of the denominator. Well, let's go. Here we go. Oh, wait. One second. Let me, let me crank my music down just a step. And I'll crank it up right at the end when we're partying for our solution. Um, I'm not just going to... That would have been fine. You can do that. You can do that. That's fine. You could multiply by root 48. But I'm sitting here saying, you know, I wonder if I can simplify 48 because I know I can simplify that. So I was going to simplify anyway. So what does this really equal? Well, the square root of 4 is 2. Holla. When we reduce radicals, reducing these radicals, and, and the square root sign is called radical, so reducing these radicals, it's all, about, it's all about finding your perfect squares. It's all about finding your perfect squares. Like I want 48, I want to rewrite it with like a perfect square. And so I see four times 12 equals 48 which is pretty sweet because that's a perfect square, four is. But I kind of like, let's see, I can do 24 times two. I'm less stoked on that. Uh, 48, 16 times three. Uh, I really like this one because that's a prime number. It's really small, a small number, and then that's a really big square root. You generally go for the biggest square root you can find. And the next biggest square root is 25. And I'm not going to be able to multiply. 25 isn't going to multiply into 48 evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this bottom part as 16 times 3. Bang. Now, I know what the square root of 16 is. So let me switch sides. Let me do a little matrix on you. I, I hope it's not too old for me to reference the matrix anymore. It might be. So square root of 16 has now become four. Let me circle what has changed. All right. Now I'm going to rationalize the denominator. I want to get the radical sign out of there. So I'm not going to multiply both sides by four root three. I'm just going to multiply both sides. I don't know why I keep saying both sides. I don't mean both sides of the equal sign. I apologize for that. I mean, I mean like both sides of this line, <laughs> the, the fraction line, meaning the numerator and the denominator. Multiply that by root three and this one by root three. Now I'm gonna kind of bring it down a step so I don't have to back up too far. And we get two root three over four times three. Now you wonder where that, that, that three, let me, let me get a different uh, color. Great here, all right. So root three times root three gave me this three. Now back here, I guess I probably should have made that a one and that a two, you know, because uh, two over four simplifies to one over two. I'll do that here now at the end. I'm almost there. Okay, so maybe I'll just do that right now. So all the, this becomes a one and this becomes a two. And when we're simplifying fractions, I, I essentially divided them both by two. And now I get one and one third over six. And I'm gonna circle it. I'm gonna leave the one there today because I feel like doing that. And then, uh, so just uh, in closing, let's uh, remind ourselves what we are doing here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, here we go. There we go. A little closing music. A little slower, a little closing music. So, when we are rationalizing the denominator, the problem is that the denominator has 
a radical sign and we don't like that but thankfully but thankfully if we multiply by itself we'll just get the number inside um, I don't know. But that's how we roll. I need to make a few more of these because it's a lot of it's hard to throw it all on one video, quite honestly. But I hope you're having a beautiful evening. I hope you're having a nice uh, dinner tonight. Alright, take care.